All right, this is your Wiley Manager 3-Minute Crash Course in Taking Good Notes, Jed. So we do a full-length podcast of this that you can pick off uh, back at our website at www.wileymanager.com or on YouTube or on iTunes or all the other places you can find us. Uh, but uh, give, us, give us a little hint as to what the, uh, the big podcast is about, Jed. Uh, we're talking about uh, taking good notes, so that's uh, we'll talk about what some of the for today, anyways. We'll talk about why that might matter. We'll give you a hint as to what some of those basics uh, might be. That uh, if you find it interesting, go back to the full length version and learn more. All right. Well, t- tell us why I care about this. Why does it matter? Um, well, number one, taking good notes makes the rest of us, Bob, think that you're actually on top of your game. Yeah, and for me, I'll take all the help I can get if that's going to make me look smart. It does make you look smart and looks like you're uh, you're trying to be as effective as you can possibly be. Also, if you're the manager, stay, it helps you stay on top of what decisions may have been made, uh, as well as who agreed to do what. So it helps you hold others accountable, which is a large you know a large portion of the managerial responsibility. Um, so it helps you follow up with others and make sure you're actually getting some of the work done. Right on. So ironically, it makes me look smart when I may not be so. <laughs> the other thing it helps is it's a bit of a it creates a historical record of some of the decisions or agreements that were made um as well as who was responsible for what obviously and sometimes going back through your you know your old notes can be very helpful all right so uh, again on the full-length podcast you you talk us through a couple of methods by which we might do this but maybe give us a little teaser as to what some of the basics of doing this stuff well are yeah sure so uh number one is don't try and record everything you hear or see you really need to be focused on decisions actions and maybe some of the important facts that led to those decisions and actions so um don't try it's not a not a transcript of the meeting you just want to capture a few of the important pieces of the meeting right um another thing is in order to do that you need to listen for clues and ask for clarity so listen for okay we just had a great conversation but i'm feeling the meeting move on to the next topic and I'm not sure we've decided anything. We've had a great discussion, but what decision got made? What action? Who's doing what by when? And if you're not hearing for it, um, make sure you ask for that clarity. Mm-hmm. And actually, when you see it in writing, it actually makes it a lot easier to identify those holes as well. So, Yeah, let me give you one more basic. Uh, there's much more in the full-length version, but one more I'll, I'll ask or share with you is to take your notes with pen and paper, not on a laptop. Yes, no laptops. Evil. A bit of a personal pet peeve of mine, but when you're in a meeting with 10 people and four of them are taking their personal notes on a laptop, it's noisy and it's very distracting to the rest of us. So It's, uh, it's like putting up a brick wall around you. Kick it old school, buddy. Pen and paper. All right on. Okay. Well, if you want to do that and uh, lots more of Jed's, uh, Jed's tips on uh, how to take better notes and why you want to do this, and again, uh, a couple of specific methods, we invite you to download the uh, the full-length podcast. Again, at uh, you can pick us off iTunes or at our own website, www.wileymanager.com. Uh, for more of this and all kinds of other stuff, Jed. So we'll see you next time. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Bob.